Hello everybody, this is the second video in the Richard Lehman series and today I'm going to be talking about his 1999 novel, Come Out Tonight. Uh, so there's the front cover and the picture. In the mid to late 90s, the publishers moved away from the, the black layout, which I really loved because the cover art took up half of the book. Here it's reduced to a really small strip, you know, his name is massive, but... Uh, the wonderful art by Steve Crisp is really uh, condensed and you don't you don't really get all the detail of it which is a shame because this one in particular I think captures the mood of the book but anyway so there's the cover there's the spine and there's the back I'll read the synopsis now <clears throat> it says it is a hot hot night too hot to be making love unless your romance is young like Sherry and Duane's it's their first time, and there's just one problem. They have no condoms. Of course, they could wait until tomorrow. In the usual circumstances, the 24-hour speedy mart is not a place anyone would want to visit at night. But these aren't usual circumstances. Duane throws on his clothes. The store is just ten minutes down the block. Uh, now Sherry is waiting. Ten minutes has gone, so has twenty. She's not worried. What's another few minutes? Then she hears the noise from down the street. It might be a door slamming, it might be the backfire of a car, but Sherry thinks it sounds mostly like a gunshot. Alright, so you see from that, that it doesn't tell you anything at all about what's, what the novel is about. It, it tells you what happens in the first 10-15 pages. <clears throat> and for that reason, this is a novel which, even though I've had it for a very long time, I put off reading it for until just now, until I just read it for the first time. Because towards the end of his writing career, the late 90s, I think Lehman was starting to run out of ideas a little bit. And he was uh, stretching out short story ideas or, or short story premises to the length of a novel. And sometimes that was really not very successful. It would just be a, a kind of a, a fairly interesting opening 20, 30 pages. But after that, it was just trademark layman debauchery, violence and sex and all that with no real plot. Let me say right from the beginning that this novel was a huge surprise to me. I really enjoyed this far more than I was expecting to. Um, the opening is his best opening in my opinion the first uh, i don't know 30 40 50 pages are intriguing it tells you there like you know so this this guy they're in their early 20s sherry and duane duane goes off for a while and uh, doesn't come back and so she goes to look for him and it's suspenseful and it's it's intriguing and she, along the way she meets who <clears throat> two characters who will become important also to the plot an old fella called G um Jim sorry and the villain of the piece who's called Toby um a fantastic opening and also unusually for Richard Lehman he really uh, sets the atmosphere here the oppressive heat of Los Angeles at night the danger of the streets you know the <coughs> excuse me I'm a little bit sick today um he he really does a very good job of capturing the mood of the uh of the Los Angeles streets at this time that he was writing the violence of them and again just the sweltering muggy sapping debilitating heat uh that they feel and which he kind of uh cleverly for him manages to tie into the lust that these two characters are feeling it's a bit of imagery in there which he usually doesn't bother with um yeah, wonderful opening. And it just it just kept getting wonderful. I mean, even beyond that premise. So, yeah, anyway, so this Sherry woman, the, the novel is named Come Out Tonight because it's a song by Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, Sherry Come Out Tonight. Um, she ends up getting entangled with the villain of the piece. It's, it's good how that happens, um, how they end up meeting and how their relationship develops. He... Uh, he does awful things to her midway through the book and dumps what he thinks is her dead body, leaves her for dead. That's the end of the first part. And then the second part of the novel involves Sherry being revived by these two teenage boys, the classic Richard Lehman teenage boys, horny as hell, jokers and clowns. But they're actually not that obnoxious compared to other one, other examples of the Lehman teenager. 
uh, <clears throat> and they start to form a, a trio who seek revenge on this Toby guy who's done this this thing to her. And the second part of the book involves that. So the first part of the novel is the story of Sherry and Toby and his, he, he thinks, killing her. And the second part is the revenge upon Toby. It's so readable. I mean, I read this entire thing in one go, in one day. It's just, I started to read the first page and I couldn't stop until the end. It's a major surprise. Shortly after this, Lehman would write another book called Night in the Lonesome October, which a lot of fans say that's his surprise novel. That's the novel they didn't think he had in him to do. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry for the coughing. <clears throat> I strongly disagree with that. I think this is his surprise. Um, I, I really loved it more than I ever thought I would. So it still has all of his flaws. It still has the Lehmanisms, you know, the, the sometimes very juvenile writing, the awkward dialogue, the obsession with sex, the the the, the stereotypical uh, cliched characters, I should say. But you get, you are always going to get that with Lehman. He never kind of tried to be anything different, and that's that's fine. But what the the strong points of this book, the readability of it, outweigh any flaws that it might have. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry. I also think that he planned to continue uh, these characters in another book because the final epilogue, uh, he here it is, the uh, the first official gathering. It's uh, it's Sherry, it's her sister Brenda, um, it's Jim, the old guy, and the two teenage boys, and they formed a kind of a club, a, a crime fighting club, and I think that had he not died, he died a couple of years after this, he he was planning to write another book about these characters. I wish he had, because I enjoyed all of these characters very much. I forgot to mention that Sherry has a younger sister, Brenda, who plays a very important part in the finale of this book, because Toby, the bad guy, ends up going after her, um, Sherry's sister, <clears throat> and that leads to a, a grand finale, which is... Um, far-fetched and ludicrous in some ways in, in terms of how the characters behave but again fun I enjoyed it a lot so this one again was a massive surprise when I read the back I thought it's just going to be another one of those meandering aimless plotless books it isn't it's well in some ways it is actually but it works I loved it completely loved it especially reading it now in the summer this is a perfect summer horror novel because again of the heat and the uh, just the, you know, the oppressive atmosphere of it, because it's extremely hot now where I am. So that's going to do it for review number two. Come out tonight, Richard Lehman, 1999. Highly, highly, highly enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see where it falls in my final ranking at the end of this series. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, if you did watch this far, and I'll see you soon for the third review. Take care.